Good morning students. Today in this video we will discuss our chapter 2 that is animal habitat and adaptation. So at first let us know what is habitat and adaptation. See habitat okay the environment in which a living organism live naturally and reproduce their young ones is their habitat means where we are comfortable to live suppose we human being we are comfortable in land it's not it if we live in water can we survive no we cannot survive it's not it because our habitat is land that is terrestrial habitat okay now let us begin the chapter so the first topic is habitat so as already i told you what is habitat the environment in which living organism naturally live or reproduce is called what habitat now you see different organisms lives in different habitats usually habitats are of two types terrestrial and aquatic habitat okay terrestrial habitat this forest desert mountains this all comes under terrestrial habitat means they are in land they are situated in land that is why called terrestrial habitat on the other hand aquatic habitat aqua means water aquatic habitat means the organism which are living in water are called what aquatic animals okay like ocean again seas rivers these all are what aquatic uh, habitat okay now Different organism lives in different habitat. We will discuss about it. So we will discuss about different types of habitat. Okay. So the first one is forest. See when we talk about forest what comes to our mind? Large number of trees and plants. Is not it? And varieties of animals are found in forest. Okay. You see what happened? Many animals are found in forest. And they live in different places inside the forest. Some animals, they live on caves like lion and tiger. It's not a lion lives in den. Now, some animals, they live on trees like monkey and birds. They are arboreal animals. It's not it which lives on tree. Some animals live in burrow like snake, rat, again uh, rabbit. These animals, they live in burrow. Some animals, they live on the flat of the forest like elephant, deer, is not it? So many types of animals are found in forest and they live on different places of forest. Now you see animals which are found in forest, they have well developed limbs. So what does this term mean? L-I-M-D limbs. See, they usually have four limbs, is not it? To walk. They have very well developed limbs, means their limbs are very strong and well developed. You know why? So that they can run from their predator. Now suppose deer. Okay, deer also lives in forest. It's not it. And deer is prey. And the prey will be eaten by the predator. Like lion or tiger. So to run fast, okay, their limbs are well developed. Is it clear? Okay. Now we will discuss about desert. So, when we talk about desert, what comes to our mind? A dry area. Is not it? With scanty of rainfall. Means the amount of rainfall is very less in desert. And desert are usually scorching hot during daytime. And it is very cold during night time. Okay? Now you see animals which are living there are camel, kangaroo rat, rattlesnake. These are some animals which can survive on this habitat okay now let us take an example of camel okay to survive in that habitat what characteristic it has adapted you see they have broad feet okay to walk in loose sand okay they have long legs to keep their body far away from the sand okay they have long eyelashes so that what happens when air blows the sand is not it the sand will move is not it but they have long eyelashes which prevent the entry of sand in their eyes okay and you may have seen on the back side of their body a big hump is there okay hump like this one structure is present in camel's body it stores water and food for the future use okay see suppose uh, there 
scanty of rainfall is there means the amount of plant and grass is less is not it water is also less so once when they eat the food or drink the water it is stored in the hum okay so two three extra point i am going to explain you they urinate very concentrated urine okay concentrated urine means very less amount of water is present in it okay and they do not sweat and their excreta their fecal matter are dry okay now let us discuss about polar region and mountain see the high mountain in polar region the arctic and the antarctica are covered with snow and are very cold throughout the year so these are the poles sorry arctic and antarctica are the two poles and we all know that it is very cold there is not it especially during winter season what happen the temperature can drop to very low degrees some animal found in the polar region are the polar bear penguin seal and walrus animal like polar bear have thick fur on their body penguins have a layer of fat under their skin called blubber penguins also have a thick layer of fat called blubber okay it help in keeping their body warm so in winter season to keep ourselves warm what we wear we wear big thick sweater is not it likewise in their body also a big fat layer of fat is present called blubber which protect it from the cold okay now the next one is ocean ocean are the largest habitat of the world and contain salt water ocean we cannot drink the water from seas and ocean you know why because the amount of salt present in it is very high arctic ocean pacific ocean atlantic ocean southern ocean and indian ocean are the various ocean on the earth so these are the names of oceans big and small fishes of different type are found in salt water habitats now crabs starfish sharks well prawns sea turtle sea horse jellyfish electric rays octopuses and many other type of animals are found here found here means found in oceans okay they can survive in even in salty water also okay you may have seen in discovery channels is not it many big sharks again this is sea horse jellyfishes electric uh, fishes are present is not it in the ocean okay now fresh water now what is the difference between ocean and fresh water see in ocean the water is salty on the other hand in fresh water the water is not salty we can drink it okay see fresh water habitat include various ponds lakes streams and rivers different kind of fishes snakes and frog live in this habitat you may have seen in the nearby pond is not it pond or lake many small tadpoles are present or many small fishes are present frogs are present is not it because the habitat is fresh water okay water birds such as duck and swan swim in water with their web feet crane have long legs to wade throughout the water now you see some water birds like crane again this uh, uh duck okay duck you have seen the feet of duck this web feet like this you have seen and what is the similarity you know when people okay swimmers you may have seen the swimmers when they are going for swimming they wear this web why because it helps them in swimming it is a kind of adaptation okay in water birds now another example cranes you have seen crane okay they prey on they eat what fishes is not it so you have seen the cranes are very tall the legs are very tall is not it to keep their body far away from the water okay so they can feed on fishes then is it clear students now we will discuss our second topic that is adaptation so in the beginning of the video only i told you what is adaptation is not it it is the characteristic acquired by an organism adapted by an organism to survive in particular habitat is it clear now so the first one is body covering you see animal have different type of body covering such as thick fur scale and shell thick fur you see what happen the animal 
which lives on very cold region they have very thick fur to protect itself from the cold weather okay now scales you see bodies of reptiles such as crocodile lizard and snake are covered with scale you may have seen fishes also okay fishes also what happen over their body they have structure like this called scales likewise it is present in reptiles okay like uh, crocodile snakes okay and the process of shedding of old skin to replace with its new skin is called molting the body of fish is also covered with scale now you see what is molting snakes you have seen the skin of snake sometimes what happen it is near the road or nearby our houses is not it what is that see within a year what they do they shed off they shed off like we shed off our clothes is not it after wearing it likewise they also they shed off their scales okay and this process is called what molting okay removing the old skin and getting the new one okay is called what molting now shell shell you have seen snails usually in rainy season what happen the snails are all around is not it you may have seen a cover like structure is there over their body like this it is what shell okay shell protect the soft bodies of animals such as turtle tortoise and snail from damage the hard shell also protect them from being eaten by predator so what happen you see it protect the soft part of the body as soon as they sense some danger what happen they put their body inside the shell and it protect them from the predator also okay what happen the predator what happen they find it very difficult to eat so they leave them okay now fur or wool the body of animals such as polar bear and yak is covered with a thick fur a sheep body is covered with wool the fur or wool help the animal to keep themselves warm in cold weather so i told you that in winter season what happened when we feel very cold what we do we wear sweaters is not it because it protect us from cold likewise these animals they don't wear any clothes or sweater is not it it protect the fur protect it from the cold weather feathers the body of bird is covered with feather you may have seen have you ever seen any birds without feather how it will look it will look very funny is not it so birds have three types of feather now you see feather are again classified into three types what are they flight feathers are present on the wing and help the bird to fly now flight feather they are present on the wings and they are quite bigger in size okay they are quite bigger in size flight feather these are present in the wings now body feather body feather is there they are medium in size and they cover the body okay they are very soft and down feathers keep the body warm they are more softer and keep the body warm now hard body covering you see insects such as grasshopper and cockroach have a hard body covering made of a substance called chitin you see what happen if you catch a cockroach sometime you will find that their body is covered with a line like structure like this okay these are made up of a substance called chitin they are very hard to touch like plastics okay students our first video ends here and the rest we will discuss in the next class thank you and have a good day ahead